this was Porter Beach in Northwest Indiana. Today we did not spot much social distancing or many masks. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live along the lakefront. Mike, you were there. What did beachgoers say? Well, Jim, the beachgoers we spoke with seemed to be pretty nonchalant about a disease that had already sickened close to 1.7 million Americans. Porter Beach in Indiana was wall to wall people today as thousands tried to beat the heat by heading to the world's fifth largest lake. And although nearly 100,000 Americans have died due to COVID-19, social distancing didn't even seem to be possible on this stretch of the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore. It was pretty crowded. Kara Nebel and her friends arrived at the beach at noon, but didn't actually get onto the sand for hours. Because every other beach was like super crowded, like couldn't even get in. Like police weren't letting people in. After being turned away from three beaches, they finally made it onto Miller Beach by around two o'clock. <laughs> Would you have gone to one of those really crowded beaches if you could have? Yeah. So you're just not that worried about COVID-19? Uh, no. Just a local beach. Michael Ortiz didn't bring his mask, but says he felt pretty comfortable. There's, I guess, the CDC and the president have released guidelines of safely being outside and gathering, so I was just following those guidelines. Everybody came out. De Leon Palmer was so happy to be out of quarantine, he couldn't restrain himself once his feet touched the sand, and he wasn't about to flip out because he didn't have a mask. You're just having a good time. I mean, nobody really wanted to think about the COVID-19 when they're out having a good time. 45 miles to the west, it was a far different scene at Dan Ryan Woods. Here at 90th and Western, the 14 picnic groves are still surrounded in fencing, and the parking lots and bathrooms remain closed. While the 250-acre park remains open for hikers and bikers, there were no takers when we showed up. With Chicago's lakefront still shut down, people headed across Lakeshore Drive to Grant Park. Even while we're here at the park, I mean, as you can see, we're not around too many other people. and We're pretty spread out. And despite temperatures soaring into the 80s, not everyone was clamoring to be on the waterfront. Asa Barron says with the beach in reach, it was tough not to go there during his stay in Chicago. Yeah, I don't think that Illinois should continue to keep things locked down. I mean, I think the beach should be open. Uh, people should be able to enjoy it. And tomorrow is once again expected to be fairly warm. So many of the folks we spoke with in Indiana today say they once again plan to be right back at the beach tomorrow. It's a holiday tradition. They plan to continue COVID-19 or not. Reporting live along the lakefront, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Jim. Mike, thank you.